Last but not least, I want to show you another handy feature of the retopple script. It's actually not a um, pure retopple um, um, feature, but I put it in the same script as it's technically doing the a similar thing. Um, and this is the slide mode. So I would just show you this on a sphere. So let's say I have some polygons selected here and you want to move these polygons on the surface of the sphere. So if you try to move them like this you won't um, be able. It will mess up the shape. So what you can do is control click on this script here and this will enable slide mode and as you can see now I'm able to slide these polygons on the surface. This also works with soft selection. If I have soft selection enabled I can just slide the topology without changing any of the shape. So I want to show you an example where this is handy. Let's do a cylinder and let's make some some cuts here. So let's say I want to extrude these four polygons here um, to make a um, other tube out of this tube. A typical modeling challenge. <laughs> so what you could do is you select these four um, edges here and scale them up to get a spherical shape and then you go to polygons and now I will just extrude this out. So if I now put this into a hypernerves or subdivision object you can see that the shape has changed. So um, if I use a shader from the utility shaders you can see there's a bump on the side here and this is not really nice um, and clean model. So you need to do something. You see this on the top view. If I turn on ground shading, you see this this bump here which shouldn't be there. Um, let me just undo these steps here and go back to this state where I selected the polygons and I will turn on slide mode by control click on retopo here. And now if I scale these here up, they will maintain on the surface of the cylinder. These points here slide on the surface, so I keep the shape of the cylinder. And now if I extrude this out, oh, first of all, before I extrude here, I need to turn off the slide mode by pressing the remesh script. And now I'm able to extrude this out. And put this in a hypernerves. And this time I get a perfect shape here. So if I look from the top view, you see this is much tighter now and I get a perfect model here. So this is just a use case where you would want to slide on the surface of the existing shape. As an addition I just want to mention that I also fixed some um, stuff with especially the select same script and also the clean view script. So if you had troubles um, with these, this should be fixed 
now. So thank you now for watching. I hope you enjoy working with HP Modeling Bundle and updates are coming for sure. Um, I will constantly work on these scripts and add scripts so you might um, hear soon again from me and yeah till then bye bye and have fun.